Hello, this is Nampa Grandma once again doing wine reviews for grandmas and grandpas um, and people on a budget looking for interesting palatable wines uh, under $10. Um, today's wine is a Behringer, a very well-known winery in California. And this was recommended to me by uh, Annette Toddy. So a shout out to uh, Grandma Annette Toddy. This white Zippendale retails at Lucky Grocery Stores for $4, not $4. I think when Annette bought it, it was $4.99. But when I bought it uh, the next day, it was $5.49. So, you know, we live in a world where prices fluctuate every single day. So let me give you a little bit of info on this. Um, why don't you start off at Grandma Mary? And everybody should know at this point, Grandma Mary. I I um, I drank this wine years ago, and and I I I really enjoyed it as kind of an everyday wine. You know, that was pretty versatile. It went with a lot of different meals. Mm -hmm. And um, why don't we give it a taste test, Grandma Mary? Okay. Okay. So, um, Grandma Mary. Mm. Reminds me of the summer. With it the does. Berries and watermelon taste. Yes, it definitely has a summer um, essence to it with the, again, the red berries and the wa slight watermelon fragrance going on in here. Cheers. It's very light. Oh, and uh, grandmas and grandpas and people on a budget, as I previously mentioned a couple times, I'm going to talk about um, some wines that I found unacceptable. Since I am not sponsored, you can send me your recommendations, which I gave a shout out to Annette Toddy. Um, the two wines I do not recommend that I have spit out have been from 19 Crimes, their red blend. And I have talked to a couple of wine buyers and they said that stuff was garbage. Let me tell you, I love and adore Snoop Dogg because I think he is the most adorable, you know, cutest uh, rapper out there. And when I, I was so excited to have a taste but it was so awful, I spit it in the sink. And then um, being me and a uh, kind of somewhat frugal grandma, I just put it in the fridge and used it for making red marinara sauce. The other wine that was uh, awful was one I found at Trader Joe's and I find most of their wines delicious but never ever in my life have I ever seen a white table wine have you ever seen a white table wine I don't think so no. you see red table wines but that was the first time in my um, 69 years that I had ever seen a white table wine so I was interested in trying this green fin wine from Trader Joe's because Normally their wines are pretty good, even if they are at the low end, but this particular green fin um, table white wine, I opened it with great expectations and it was just awful. So those two I wouldn't advise, but I would say a two thumbs up. What do you give this Behringer wine? I give it a two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. and I always was, liked it. <laughs> yeah, she's had this before, and it was just when my um, friend Annette recommended it that I went down to Lucky Supermarkets, that's where it's from, and uh, purchased a bottle. So anyway, Grandma Mary, I'm going to close with saying let's have a happy glass of wine. <laughs> And God bless you and be kind to one another. Thank you.